When you walk into this research lab, you hear the overpowering hum of massive machines, robotic parts swing past viewing windows, and technicians spray objects with lasers. These are printers, but they don't print on paper. These machines use a variety of durable materials, from plastic to metal, that print out three-dimensional objects. CAD is computer-aided design. It opens the door for applications like reverse engineering. As an example, an army technician is scanning part of a protective mask. As the laser passes over every millimeter of the object, the computer lays in points in 3D space. Sending the file to the printer would result in a solid copy to hold in your hand within a few hours. The team's 3D printers are churning out new objects day and night. The researchers use a variety of techniques to get the job done. Some printers use lasers. Others spray heated plastic through print heads. One system uses a vat of goo to hold the object in place as it creates it layer by minuscule layer. One recent project involved coming up with a solution to help soldiers carry a heavy piece of sensor equipment in the field. Three D printing may have been pioneered in the 1980s and brought to the market in the mid 1990s, but combining the processes with more powerful software and accurate lasers offers potential for future manufacturing techniques. For Army Technology Live, I'm David McNally.